It's not often you see a city bus as part of a vintage collection, but the man behind the wheel of this 1961 General Motors coach is no ordinary collector. Jack Innes plays no favorites when it comes to the vast array of sheet metal in his backyard. He gave Road Classics a tour, beginning with, that's right, another bus. This one's a highway coach um, built in 1947. It's um, a can car replica of a flexible clipper. It's a Canadian built bus. Um, the other bus is geared to go about 35 miles an hour. This bus is quite capable of 85 miles an hour. It has a Cummins diesel engine and a five speed overdrive transmission. Very smooth ride, incredibly for the 40s. I was driving it last week. It was enjoyable to drive. Taxi anyone? Well, how about a 1972 original checker cab? They only made 92, but it can seat two baseball teams. From research I've done on it, the original owner was a kosher chicken packing plant in New York City. So it will probably be used to pick up the, the folks that worked in the plant throughout the city. It does seat 18 in, in total. The idea behind the production of the car was as a, something like an airport bus, or airport limousine. It wasn't terribly successful um, in that there was no place but the roof rack to put your luggage. And in bad weather, people didn't really want to have their luggage up there in the rain as they were taken to a hotel. One man's junk is another man's treasure, or in this case, it could be another person's movie prop. Because when Jack isn't tinkering with his relics from the past, he's placing them in the movies. If he can't find it, he'll use some imagination and make it. For example, German sidecar, anyone? This has played many times as a German Second War looking motorcycle. Actually, it's a 76 Honda 360. And the sidecar, the chassis itself, is a 29 Swallow. And the bodywork is made out of muffler pipes and aluminum siding. It was originally built for a, a Disney film um, called The Undergrads with Art Carney and Chris Makepeace. And shortly after that, I needed a fleet of German equipment for a kind of a Christmas movie called Miracle at Moreau. And it, got transformed at that point into a into basically what you see it today. It has been painted back and forth probably a couple of dozen times in between. Robocop used it all black. But it's, uh, it's actually fairly impressive how it works on the road. It, when I built it, I never thought it would be much use being such a small bike, but it does work quite nicely. Variety is definitely the name of the game when it comes to Jack Innes' collection. Not many people can say they own a 1940s sprint car that was once raced by Hoppy Aaron. The brake is hand operated. It's just one drum on the left rear wheel. The drum on the right wheel isn't necessary since the rear end is locked. It's a differential free unit. And the clutch, when you use it, is inside. And operate it with your knee. <clears throat> in racing, you would pull the clutch handle out. You wouldn't use a clutch at all, but for playing around with it, it's, it's nice to have it. This is my second race car. First one was a midget racer at Crosley that I brought in from Indianapolis. And when it arrived, I discovered that, I guess truthfully, I was too big for the car rather than the car too small for me. So when I talked to the chap in Oklahoma on this car, the first thing I said before we went further in negotiation was that I had to see if I fit in it. And that did work. It's a 60 horse Ford V8 flathead. I think it's out of about a 1937 Ford. Ford had the 60 horse and the 85 horse available at that time. The small engine made a, a pretty good race car engine. This one is in quite good shape. There's something in here that you haven't seen yet. It's a 1938 Hudson Terraplane utility coupe. It 
which was a, an idea that they had at, in that uh, period. They made them, I think, 36, 7, and 8. That uh, gave you a pickup truck and a car combined. And when you weren't using the truck, it, of course, disappeared. It was in the, in the early 30s when air travel was becoming in vogue. Hudson, the Terra being Earth, it's a, an Earth plane rather than an airplane. That was where they, they got their idea. Jack's collection isn't restricted to buses, bikes, and cars. He even has something called a Page. Uh, Page was a truck company, um, Page Detroit company, that they made cars as well, and eventually merged with Graham, made Graham Page. As far as the trucks go, this is the only page I have ever seen nor heard of in its complete state. It's in 1920. That was bought new by a chap named Dick Wilson in Maple, Ontario, and he used it to haul milk from Maple into Toronto. And then after it became a few years old, he put the dump box on it and used it to haul gravel and lumber. It was used on the highway project building Highway 2 through Port Hope and Coburg back in the 20s.